Welcome to Kehan Life. This is your weekly Iran news update. At least 100 people in Iran have been sentenced to death or charged with offenses carrying the death penalty for taking part in the country's nationwide protests, according to Norway-based NGO Iran Human Rights. The protests were sparked after the death of 22-year-old Gina Massa Amini while in police custody and began as a call for gender equality, quickly developing into a countrywide call for regime change. The number of people facing the death penalty for offences related to the protests is believed to be much higher, following reports that families were pressured to keep silent about the arrests. Iran's military units and senior military commanders issued public announcements that the protests have been successfully quelled, despite ongoing demonstrations inside the country. The statements follow a dramatic drop in the rial, Iran's currency, and the suspension of talks between Tehran and Washington to revive the 2015 nuclear deal. Iran is currently facing an economic crisis, which experts suggest is likely to continue fueling the country's anti-government protests. And Iran's police force opened fire on a car, killing a boy as he was on his way home. 17-year-old Mehrtod Malek was in his friend's car in Khazvin province when police forces decided to follow the teenagers. The officers opened fire after the patrol vehicle got stuck in the mud, leaving the officials unable to drive on. Two other children, 12-year-old Soha Etebarin and 9-year-old Kian Pirfalak, were shot and killed by police while in their families' cars, prompting a global outcry on social media. At least 64 children are believed to have been killed by regime forces during the current wave of protests. Mamnoon kebomo hastid, mura qebe qoditun bashid. Thank you for listening and stay safe.